Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be reviewing and demoing the one size holiday sets. I'm really excited. So <laughs> I think it was actually yesterday I did a shopper drop and I labeled these eye sets as boring. I said I dropped them, I wasn't going to buy them, uh, but I really was considering this Three Queens face set because I had a lot of the products from one size that I hadn't tried before. And then lo and behold, actually this morning, they showed up at my doorstep. I'm really excited because even though for me, this wasn't, especially the eyeshadows, this wasn't something that I was going to spend my own money on. I think they're really realistic colors that a lot of people would like and I really like the eyeliner in here. So I'm going to cover these and um, this is what I'm pumped about uh, with the Sephora sale coming up. I just want to cover as much makeup as I can that you might might have been curious about especially the new stuff and the holiday sets a couple days ago I did review the Fenty holiday sets so now we're moving on to one size and before I had the collection that I have right now the holiday sets is when I would buy my makeup you know when I was in college I wasn't making that much money doing what was that being a camp counselor I had to be smart about my money and I always thought the holiday sets were the best deals which is why I want to cover what I can. So without further ado, if you want to see my thoughts and demos of the new one size holiday sets, then just keep watching. One size is a brand that I'm happy to see has grown since its launch, I think. I don't think they have the biggest launch, at least I didn't hear too much. And this is all assumption, I have no idea. But it seems like their name is out there a lot. I think One Size has targeted a pretty big audience on TikTok. And I'm seeing them slowly expand their line. And I've liked a lot of products that I've tried. I'm going to start off today by looking into the Three Queens set, which is a primer, powder, and setting spray set. And we will finish off with both of the Point Made eye sets, which are two eyeshadow quads. And then you can see there is an eyeliner in both. Face is ready. Let's get into it. I have my little info card right here. So this is available on the One Size website and Sephora, but as you know, the Sephora sale is coming up. So if you are a beauty insider, you could get this at a discounted price. And these are already pretty good price. So you can see this is going to be $42 and it is a $61 value. It will get better if you wait for the sale. In here, and I've never tried anything in here before. We have the Secure the Blur Makeup Magnet Primer. We have the Travel Size Ultimate Blurring Setting Powder, which I think I've heard pretty good things about. And this, I think, is very trendy. This is the Travel Size Till Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. And this is sold out. Like, this is the only way that you can get this setting spray because the Travel Size and Full Size, at least on Sephora, is sold out. So <laughs> I'm really excited to see what this all is about. Your packaging, again, really great, just to give as a gift. It says everything in here is vegan, so let's uh, get into it. Honestly think this is was going to end up in my cart during the Sephora sale because I've been thinking about this ever since I talked about it yesterday. So we'll start off with the primer here. So this is a travel size. The full price is going to be $30 for the full size of this. Is it a full size? Oh no, I lied. Huh. I think this is the full size because 35 milliliters is on the website. So you actually get a full size of this, which is originally $30. And you just paid $42 for this. Okay, that's a really good deal. And then it comes in pink and red packaging, really cute. Uh, made in the USA, 12 month shelf life. Let's try it out. I'm only going to put it on one side of my face just to see if we can see a difference, I don't know. It's kind of hard to squeeze out. I wish it was softer because this is plastic, so you kind of have to press hard. Let's try it out. We'll do the side that is not happy with me right now. I did film a video this morning. My eyes have a little bit of residue on them. I mean, it definitely feels like it smoothed the face. I'm gonna put a little bit more on. And it feels slightly hydrating. It actually feels quite soothing. I like it. So this is supposed to instantly blur pores 
secure makeup all day and it has texture solving ingredients. I mean, I can't really tell the difference from one side to the next, but we'll see if makeup sits on it and if it's a little bit different. We're gonna use our trusty Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. Can you tell the difference? Honestly, I feel like this side looks more hydrated than the side that I did not apply a primer with. But other than that, I don't really notice too much of a difference between side to side. This side does look better primed because there was something to hydrate. I mean, okay. It made the, the makeup on this side look a little bit better, <laughs> I suppose. So let me put on a little bit of the one size concealer. This is a very nice concealer. I do like this a lot. Okay, I'm excited for this. We have the translucent setting powder. This is the ultimate blurring setting powder. A full size of this is going to be $30, and I believe individually this is $16. This is supposed to blur skin texture, all day wear, and no photo flashback. So cute packaging. I'm gonna set on one side with a brush, and then I'm going to use a sponge on the other side. I figured Patrick Starr's makeup brand, of course he makes it so that you're able to bake. I use my reference. 19 brush. This is normally how I set. I typically do prefer to just pat in with a brush. Honestly, that looks super good. It's quite blurring. It looks heavier than some other setting powders that I have. Oh, it's like a thicker powder for sure. It doesn't look lightweight on the skin, but it does do like a heavy duty job of blurring the skin in that way. Okay, let me put a little bit more into the cap and let's use our sponge under here. I don't do crazy baking, but I do sometimes like to use my sponge to just press a little extra powder under there. I mean, I don't think one way of application looks better than the other, but I like this powder. I, it's a heavy duty powder for sure, but it definitely does that job of blurring. Seems nice, I like it. I think my complexion looks really good and perfected. I'm going to use this Sephora Pro Face Palette to do my bronzer, blush, and highlight. Okay, we'll come back to the setting spray, but let's get into the quads or the Point Made eye sets. Both you are getting the Point Made liquid liner and then you are getting an eyeshadow quad. So the eyeshadow quads are made in the USA of US and imported materials and the eyeliner is made in Germany. So this is the first time that he's come out with quads. He does have an eyeshadow palette in his line, which is on sale for 50% off, 21 bucks, and I like it. I think it has some really good staple colors. So each of these are $34 each, which I think is a pretty good deal. Just going off of the fact that the eyeliner itself is $20 or $19 to be exact. Not bad for getting an eyeshadow quad and an eyeliner. Let me actually get the one that I already have open. I already have this liner. I think it's really nice. It lasts a long time. I'm going to keep this unopened. The only thing I have to say is that I don't like is it's a little bit too flimsy for me. I don't know if mine is dried out and if I need to open up a new one, but I do think it's a little bit too flimsy for me to where I feel like I lose control of the product sometimes. But as far as the product itself, it's really black. It lasts a long time. I like it a lot. And oh, the packaging of this is really cute. So it's pink. Interesting compact. This is golden cocoa, by the way, if you need to see any of the details on the back and look. Super easy to open because he does design his products specifically for if you have long nails. Ooh, I really like the packaging of this. And okay, I said this was boring for a reason. You can't tell me this is not boring, but it is a pretty everyday palette. Let me pull out the other quad for you. I believe both of these are just the black eyeliner. So this one is Copper Cider. I mean, they look beautiful and they definitely look prettier than in the promo picks. So you can see Golden Cocoa right here is more neutral and more golden, obviously, and Copper Cider is more warm. So I definitely don't think you need both sets. Golden Cocoa was more up my alley, 
but this is pretty too. We'll do looks on each eye. By the way, this does say that these eyeshadow quads are limited edition, so I bet you they're set exclusives for the holidays. Let's swatch Golden Cocoa first. So the eyeshadows don't feel particularly creamy. They feel like a drier, harder press. Let's see how they swatch. We're not gonna judge it yet. Okay, not too pigmented. Ooh, that bottom one did swatch really, really nice. Um, I'm not super impressed by the swatches. Like I said, they do feel a little bit drier and they're not translating too powerful. But we'll see how they apply because Viseart shadows, for example, are drier. And I don't like the way that they swatch, but they're amongst my favorite formula of all time. Pretty simple with a quad. So I'm going to start off with Oh My Dear. I am getting a little bit of fallout, but nothing too crazy. And this is going to be our crease color. And this swatched okay, not the best. Hmm, it's grabbing onto that corner a little bit. It's honestly not blending out the best. See how it's really collecting in this area. And I really like the formula of his Bake Eyeshadow Palette. And I don't have a problem with the blend. So I feel like this isn't quite as creamy as his formula in that Bake Palette. I'm able to work it out, but you can see the product has collected right there. Let's use Santa Snack, just the dark color. I think this one's gonna be really pretty. Make sure this one doesn't have a problem with blending. Run this along the lower lash line. I'm going to take a Wayne Goss number 6 brush, blend it out. So it might just be the way that I applied it a little bit more carefully. The dark brown is blending out just fine. And now that I've run a blending brush over that first shade a number of times, it has evened out and it looks good. Okay, we're going to use a golden ice right here, center of the lid. This applies beautifully to the eyelid. It doesn't feel like a really creamy formula, but it's translating pretty well on the eyelid. Then we're gonna use the lightest shade. And this one was kind of soft on the initial swatch. And I don't know if you can see, but it's a little PC on the eyelid. It's not quite as opaque as I would like, but you can build it up and then it gets there. It's a gorgeous look. It's really easy to do. I don't think the shadows are the best in this world though. I do love this style of look. It's very classic. It was very quick and easy to do, but do take into account your blending skills. Keep in mind, I blend eyeshadows for a living, so I am able to work with this formula and I think it's fine. But if you struggle with blending or you don't have the correct tools in your collection, this might be difficult to work with. Let's see how Copper Cider does. I'm actually gonna swatch this right below so that you can compare them. Okay, again, they have a drier feeling to them. See this shade? It's like these two shades are like eh, and then the most pigmented one seems to be the bottom. So you can kind of compare the two now. They're very, very different. Honestly, I know this is more my speed, but I think this is gonna be better for the holidays, personally. We're gonna mess around with the same technique that we just did. So I really wanna try this shade to see if it's blendable because it wasn't the best on the other eye. Do keep in mind, I have my eye unset with the one size concealer, but normally blending's not an issue over it. I don't know what was going on with that first shade that we used because this is blending, again, just okay. It's not seamless by any means. It's working out just fine. It was this shade, which was quite odd. It's a pretty warm shade. This is a Sonia G Soft Definer brush. By the way, it's awesome. So let's go into is this Figgy Puddin. A little bit of fallout with these shades. Just gonna run that along the lower lash line. We're doing the exact same technique. And don't forget the outer corner. See this dark shade kind of collected a little bit? These mattes definitely do require some extra love. They're workable, but they need some love. Ooh, I'm excited to try Rusty Boots. This one feels a little bit more creamy than the rest. <gasps> and it's beautiful. Okay, I like this shade. I typically go for looks like this, but for the holiday season, I'm liking this one. Let's do Missile Glow. It's pretty. Again, it's softer, but it's pretty. You don't always need Wham Bam. Though I would imagine with Patrick Starr's makeup brand, you'd want it to be Wham Bam. That's kind of what I'm expecting, just knowing Patrick Starr. Not personally, but I followed him for some time. <laughs> okay, let's mess around with the eyeliner. I've had this for months though, 
So I might need to play with one of the new ones, but I really do like this eyeliner. It's not my favorite in the world just because of the applicator, but I do like the formulation is good, and it seems like it's still intact after the few months that I've had it. Even though I said I don't like how flimsy the liner is, at the same time, I like how long the applicator is. Yeah, okay, and definitely another positive is that this lasts a really long time because I bought this when it very first launched. Good longevity here, which is very important. See, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I am just having problems controlling this and flicking it because when you apply it like this, it just doesn't go where you want. The only way that it can get a really precise line is if I lay it on its side. It's not realistic to do that, so I don't get my best wings with this eyeliner. Journey to get there, but once you get there, this eyeliner is really good and it lasts a long time. So I'm going to do the rest of my face and then we're going to finish with this, um, with this setting spray. Let's test out the setting spray. So I'm going to make two lines with the liner. Gosh, this liner is so black. Ugh, I have such mixed feelings about it. And then let's use Santa Snack. Just grabbed a random shade. I'm gonna put this right below and then we'll do another one. Do I shake it? I can't do this on camera, but I'm gonna put this over the top one and we're gonna spray the bottom one. Okay, I've sprayed the bottom. We'll let that dry. I'm just gonna spray my whole face. I don't like the smell of it. <laughs> it like makes me want to cough. What up my nose? Ugh. I feel like I'm spraying hairspray on my face. I don't really think it's a pleasant application. It dry. And then we'll do a rub test. This honestly resembles hairspray to me. I'm not saying it's not gonna work though. We will like it if it works, that's what matters. But I feel like I'm spraying hairspray on my face. Okay, I think we're dry, so. It's not moving. What about the top? Oh, the eyeshadow definitely faded more without the setting spray. You see? So without the setting spray, the brown is just going. And then the one with, and I'm pressing pretty hard. I think it worked. I think this setting spray really does make the makeup last longer. So I think this works. <laughs> Okay, so I literally just used makeup remover to try and get it off my hand and you can see the eyeliner that had the setting spray. I am struggling to get that off my hand. <laughs> Alright guys, so final thoughts on these sets. I definitely want to start off with this Three Queens set. If this happens to have products that you're interested in, I really like this set. I think it's a really great deal. I think the products in here legitimately work really good. So this one is definitely worth it. I'm a little bit more on the fence about the eye sets. This isn't the perfect eyeliner for me, but liner is very personal. And the eyeshadow quads are, they're just okay. So I mean, I still think $34 is a great value for this, but you're not getting top of the line products in my opinion. Love the eyeliner formula. I suck at applying it though. That might be a personal issue. Then the eyeshadows I think are really beautiful. I think he curated quads that make sense. But keep in mind, especially with those mattes, they're a little bit harder to blend. I, I personally, just for this time of year, I think I'm feeling copper cider more, the warm one. But uh, they're both gorgeous. I can't deny that. I like the packaging. The formula's just okay. So I think it's worth the value. It's definitely worth the value, but they're not top-notch products. I prefer the quality of the big eyeshadow formula, and that's $21 on sale. So just keep that in mind. So there we have it. Those were my thoughts thoughts on the new one size holiday sets. A huge thank you to one size for sending these my way so that I was able to provide you guys with this video. So let me know down below what your thoughts are on these new holiday sets and is there any, not even just from one size, but just in general, any holiday sets that you're definitely excited to pick up. That's all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.